Do you know how to create AI agent with Gamma 3 large language model and how Gamma 3 works locally with Olama? So in this video, I'm explaining you all of this. Hi guys, welcome to Freebird's Q and let's create our ninth AI agent that will use Google Gamma 3 latest large language model using Olama and can act with our AI agents to understand and parse PDFs, URLs and many more things as well. Here is a short demo of the project. As you see, when you upload a PDF, it processes it so fast and gives us the whole document summary as well. And when I ask a question, it quickly search the vector DB and answer the question in way better than Gemini as used in with last projects as well. So let's build this project. First of all, get all the prerequisites of this project. Listen and learn carefully. First, you should have the knowledge about AI agents. What are they? How they work? And what are the agentry design patterns? You have to watch my these two videos of AI agents to get yourself familiar with AI agents, workflows and designs. After all this is done, let's create our ninth AI agent using Google Gamma 3. So guys, as you see my screen, this is the code of our Gamma AI agent in which we should first uh, import all our necessary libraries here. We are using the Google Generative AI embeddings with our Agno AI agent. We are using the Olama because we are using the Gamma 3 with the Olama version. As you see, I already run the Olama here with the Gamma 3 1 billion large language model. And we are also using a web search agent that uses the Gemini large language model and also the DuckDuckGo that do the web search and the ChromaDB for our VectorDB as well. And uh, to handle the PDFs and the web-based URLs, we are using the document loaders from the Langchain library and also do the recursive track splitting for the chunking as well. So when we first create our embedding model here to embed our PDFs or URLs or any kind of text information that we add in this AI agent, we first create a collection in the uh, Chroma DB. So for that, we first have to set our this default uh, variables here, and then we have to initialize our Chroma DB that create the uh, collection for us if it is not created there. And th this is our like a function to split the document in into the chunks because it creates all the documents that it had into the chunks of this size and this overlap as well. So when we call this process PDF function, it first create a duplicate file. And for that duplicate file, it read the file, add the metadata into it, and then call this split text functions to do the chunking. Okay. And then these chunks are stored into the vector DB. Same thing goes with the uh, website URLs as well. As we load the website URL, add the metadata into it, and then call the split text function and there is a new function that is called a generate summary that whenever you upload a pdf document or a url link into our app it first create the summary of all the things that that you have on the pdf or in the url as well and also it generate the follow-up questions for you as well that what you might to ask or not okay and then it has an agent that it will do the web search by using the Gemini large language model. And it also has a rag agent that will use our Gamma 3 large language model here that answer our question based on the uh, context re retrieved from the vector DB. And this is a function to retrieve the documents from the vector DB here that uh, you generate the top five results or top five context from the vector DB as well. And uh, when we create our whole chat interface by using the Streamlit application, we first create uh, the Chroma DB client here. We upload the file input and web URL uh, in input is here as well. So when the file is uploaded, it first process the PDF, get all the data, put all the data in into the Chroma client or on the Chroma DB. And then it also generate the summary of the whole uh, document as well. And if there is a website URL is there, then it creates the same process, process the web URL and add all the information into the vector DB. And uh, when we are like, I uh, try to ask a query or ask a question to it. So that the same question, it has to first go into the retrieve documents to get the uh, context about your query and that these contexts got into our RAG agent. So if there is a uh, RAG agent available with the context then then it directly go to the rag agent but if there is a no documents or no context then it goes to search the web using our get web search agent as well okay then at the end it will generate the right response for you based on the results from the vector db or results from the web search as well okay so now let's see how this really works on the real time as well so as you just see here, this is the like uh, interface of our Gamma 3 local rag 
reasoning agent we have this all the features available here that you can enable the rag mode or not okay you can ask questions directly as well but we are able to see how the rag works so we just uh, browse the file go on the path rag this is our like new research paper about the path rag we just upload it and it started running so now it's first chunk it stored in the vector db then it generate the whole summary for you with the uh, follow-up questions if there is any okay okay so as you see here it just uh, generate the whole summary of our whole uh, path rag document and it can also uh, give your some three questions to ask as well so let's just ask it uh, what is path rag okay then it directly go to the vector db get the context and try to answer you the question in a very fast response as well okay so the answer is here that path rag is a novel grass pick rag method focused on retrieving key relational paths from the indexing to elevate noise okay so that's how the uh your gamma 3 with the rag will work if you want to uh disable the rag mode you can easily ask like a simple questions to the gamma 3 as well like uh, if i ask what are uh what is a uh, word to vec in nlp so when i ask this it just generate it just try to give the answer on the basic knowledge of the gamma 3 itself oh guys so the answer is here that uh, what is word to vec how it works and what are the different different uh, working method that it has it has a skip gram and cw method so like that it uh, able to answer all the questions that you want to ask on the base of the web search on the base of its own knowledge or on the base of the rag as well okay and uh, in our next video we'll try to build an ai agent that has its own memory with the help of mem0 library that can add a chatting history or a chat memory to your ai agent so so that uh, your ai agent can learn on the on the go or your AI agent can be more uh, efficient as well. If you want to know more about the generative AI prompt engineering, data science, machine learning, you can watch my video YouTube and also read my blogs on Medium. We'll meet up next video. Thanks guys. Thank you so much.